is a very interesting hadith of the Prophet وسلم, which was narrated by Ibn Majah and Muslim and Ibn Asakir and a few of the muhaddithin. And uh, with different wording of the hadith, different alfaz, different riwayat. We would bring them all inshallah ta'ala for the benefit. The core one is in Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim radiallahu anhu wardah. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Bada al-Islam gharibaan wa sayaoodu gharibaan kama bada'a fatuba lil ghuraba. Islam began as something strange. It was strange. People were worshipping idols around the Kaaba. Huh? Allat, wal uzza, wa ila akhirihi. And then the Tawheed came and it was strange. So much so that someone like Bilal, radiallahu anhu, would have to be tortured, tortured, in the, in the scorching hot sun, placing heavy rocks on his back and chest for him to denounce and to abandon this Tawheed, this Iman of his. And of course, you all know he was saying, Ahadun Ahad. Huh? It was something strange. That's what the Mushrikeen of Quraysh said. He has made all these gods a single god. This is something amazing. Huh? It's ajib according to them. So it was strange. وَسَيَعُودُ غَرِيبًا كَمَا بَدَأَ And he will go back to that state of strangeness just like at the time when it first came about. Ajib. How is Islam, which has been promised to conquer the world huh, and to remain until the end of time, how is it going to be strange again? It will be strange in regards to the people adhering to the true Islam. As for the adherence to Islam in general, heh, count and don't even and, and spend your life counting. The many, 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 many Muslims we have. But what form of Islam are they following? One which they have invented or their forefathers have invented. And so it will be strange in a sense that those who adhere to it strictly will be a minority. But Allah will give those the victory at the end of time. فَطُوبَ لِلْغُرَبَ Tuba has been explained by the scholars as one of two things. Or both, actually. When there's no contradiction, there's a qaida which we should know, according to the ulama. When they explain a couple of ayat or a hadith or whatever of revelation, and there's no contradiction between them, they accept all as valid interpretations. Only when there's contradiction, you will have to then understand one not in the light of the other. One might have abrogated the other one, one may be general, the other one specific, then we go into other discussions. But if the both interpretations are acceptable, then they will accept both. Both are not contradicting. So here Tuba could mean a tree in paradise. And Tuba could simply mean good tidings. And both are valid. Give the good news to these strangers and let them know that there's a paradise for them. There's a, there's a tree for them in paradise called Tuba, which will be given to them. Now, this is the riwayah of Muslim. And another riwayah from Hadith of Abu Mas'ud, which is authenticated by Shaykh Al-Albani, rahimahullah. Qila, Ya Rasulallah, Mani al it was said, O oh Messenger of Allah, who are these strangers? And the Sahaba were very keen. They wouldn't let this one slide. When he gives these glad tidings for the strangers at the end of time, you can't just say, okay, that sounds nice. Huh? You have to say, wait, who? Right? In school, you do the same thing. Well, four people got A's. You don't say, oh, okay, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm one of the failures. Say, who got an A? Even if you got an F and you know that you're done and your career is over and you're going to change schools and whatever, you still out of curiosity want to know who's this one who got an A. Not to envy him. Some people will do that. Huh? Try to get an evil eye on the guy. Knock him out. No good. قالوا يا رسول الله من الغرباء قال الذين الذين يصلحون إذا فسد الناس 
إذا فسد الناس those who will rectify those who will be upright when the people become corrupt isn't that the condition of the Muslims today yes do we have corrupt Muslims sadly yes who are the strangers those who will rectify when the people go corrupt so right now as we sit here we are one of these two either a rectifier or a corrupter or corrupted who's being rectified and if we want to be among the strangers we have to be those who are rectifying or those who will get rectified now to rectify later there's some time we have some time but before we die وفي لفظ آخر الذين يصلحون ما أفسد الناس من سنتي now we get even more specific those who will rectify what the people have corrupted of my sunnah and how many of those do we have now we can't even count them we can't even if we wanted the strangers will rectify of the sunnah meaning they will be fetching amongst all these things that the people are talking about and they will see where have the people violated the sunnah they will bring the sunnah forth to the people of course this is the job of the scholars anytime someone violates the rights of the prophet sallallahu by violating his sunnah the scholars will clarify to the masses the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu when the people will make it corrupt and they will make it uh, in agreement with their desires, lowly desires. وَفِي لَفْظٍ آخر هُمْ أُنَاسٌ صَالِحُونَ قَلِيلٌ فِي أُنَاسِ سُوءٍ كَثِيرٍ There will be a minority of righteous people among an evil population. Among many, many evil people. مَنْ يَعْصِيهِمْ أَكْثَرُ مِمَّ يُطِيعُهُمْ Those who will disobey them will be way more than those who obey them. Meaning they will be preaching and they will be only a minority who will accept the preaching. Everybody else will say, ah, get out of here. Just another Wahhabi. It's exactly what it is today. Huh? You go through the ups and downs of, of life and you go through the struggle and you try to do something fi sabirillah, perhaps Allah will accept and then some layman from planet Jupiter will come and tell you at the end, oh, you're just another Wahhabi. Shut up. Thank you. But did you hear what the sunnah was? Did you bother to investigate? I'm a liar or anybody else. Ya Sheikh, investigate first. When you have concluded that what is being said to you is some Wahhabi creation and there's no such thing, then we can have a discussion then. But to outright reject it just because it's coming from Saudi Arabia or it's coming from whatever, however people now, you know, uh, qualify and, and categorize people is just nonsense. So those who will obey them will be a minority. Those who will disobey them will be a lot. And so now the ulama are always accused of having a hidden agenda. Oh, this alim, oh, he works for the government. Who pays you? Huh? That's, the, that's the best one. You know, they, they leave the comment, huh? You know that you're being paid by Hizb al-Tahrir. I'm like, who's, who's Hizb al-Tahrir? Or by, I don't know who. You know who is, who's paying you. I said, yeah, Samsung Electronics. I work for Samsung, man. That's who's paying me. What are you talking about? They think that we, you know, everyone who tries to tell you about Tawheed, he's paid. He's paid by some agency, someone who, you know, they look for us supposedly say, ha, ah, you, you will be the next YouTube speaker. Come, come, take this million riyals and go tell the people to worship Allah alone. Ya Sheikh, wallah, something that will... Your brain is about to f fail in functioning at, at the gravity of what you read. What, what is this? But that's what's being said today. Huh? Everybody's paid. If they tell you about the deen of Allah, they must be paid. If they now, if they modify it for you, 
customize it for you, tailor it. How would you like Islam? You tell me, what is your size? You want it, okay, this part will make it big, this one small, this one delete, take it out, take it out. Now you say, oh, okay, this is the good sheikh. This is the good spida, this is the one. The one who makes sure that you're happy. Wallah al-musta'an.